Do you care about the environment? Then I have one word for you. Just one word. Are you listening? Plastics. It may seem like plastic has been with us forever, but the first fully synthetic plastic, Bakelite, was introduced in 1907 by its creator, Leo Bakeland. Bakeland was a Belgian chemist who pioneered creating a synthetic polymer that could hold its shape after being heated. He coined the term plastic to describe his creation because it could mold its shape without breaking. Because Bakelite and other plastic materials are cheap to produce and easily adaptable, this triggered a revolution in goods manufacturing. Thus began the plastic age, and it's been with us ever since. You can find plastic everywhere. In toys and shopping bags, in furniture, even lining your disposable coffee cups. And while plastic is already everywhere, there will soon be more of it. Studies suggest that global plastic manufacturing will double in the next two decades. That growth is a major problem though. Most modern plastics are made from petrochemicals derived from oil. This means that they last forever because those chemicals take a very long time to decompose. When you throw out a shopping bag or a broken plastic toy, it doesn't just disappear. It has to go somewhere. All too often, it winds up in the water. According to a recent study by the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, each year at least 8 million tons of plastic leak into the ocean, which is equivalent to dumping the contents of one garbage truck into the ocean every minute. That's a lot of plastic. Plastic disrupts the ocean ecosystem. Fish can mistake plastic for food and eat it, which is really bad for them because it stays in their stomachs and keeps them feeling full. That problem gets worse because plastic doesn't just go away, it breaks down into smaller pieces over time while leaking toxic chemicals into the water. It's projected that by 2050, the ocean will contain more plastic by weight than fish. That makes it harder and harder for both fish and sea plants to survive. There aren't many good ways to get rid of plastic. We can recycle it, but recycling isn't perfect and has environmental impacts of its own. That means the best way to reduce the impact of plastic on our environment is to use less of it. Want to do your part? Skip the straw when you order a drink and avoid other single-use plastics that you only use once. Bring a canvas bag when you're shopping and avoid foods with excessive packaging. Buy clothes with natural fibers so that when you wash them, you're not accidentally sending plastic microfibers like acrylic and polyester into our water systems. If we all take part, we will make a major impact on our environment.